Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm doing a subscriber requested video. So uh, JD asked me if I could do a stained glass pour uh, like Kathleen Miller does. Um, so I've had a little look online and I've watched Kathleen's video and I also saw one by uh, Nikki D Art and um, yeah, they look quite interesting. Remind me a little bit of Venom Fluid Arts uh, blooms. So I thought I would use my bloom mixtures and make some really bright colours because when I think of stained glass, I think of bright glass shining through the black, uh, what we're going to call lacing. Um, so I've got my oxide black here for my lacing. I've got some white here for a base. Uh, this is my house paint, my British paints walls interior so i'm going to use it as a base put my colors on top and then swipe with some black so let's get started okay so i'm going to add my white house paint and i have added a little bit of flow troll into this because i found my house paint was getting a little bit thick so that's the australian flow troll uh, when I was watching Nikki D's video, she had some white negative space, which looked really nice. And she spun it out quite a bit. So I was wondering whether to go down that track. I um, guess I'm not a huge fan of just having the whole canvas, this bright mix of colours. Okay, I've just mixed up a little bit more of this because I've got to remember I've got a deep edge that I'm going to need to cover. I did think about using a thinner edge, but I didn't. So I'm just adding a bit more. Okay, torch out my bubbles since I just made that. I can apply it white to the corners when I need to. Okay, so the approaches by the two artists that I watched were quite different. Um, Kathleen just drizzled it all over and Nikki D put it all in one spot and layered it. So I am going to combine the methods and I'm going to drizzle but I'm not going to drizzle over the whole thing. What I might do because I'm planning to swipe through. Uh, yeah, okay. Gonna check the width of my my uh, palette knife. It's quite thick. Gonna want a bit of movement, so I'm gonna come up sort of these sides with my yellow. Trying to break up the colors a little bit. some blues and some of the teal love teal turquoise so 
So I might swipe that way and then swipe that way. Do I want to add a little bit more? On the outside, I think I've gone too wide. I could go like that though, actually. Maybe I'll do that and then that way. That'll be different. I don't know whether to add any more colour. Let's put a little bit more red down here. Definitely very bright. And I probably want to calm this way a little bit. All right, I'm gonna swipe with my black now. Um, and I'm gonna go this way. So, yep, it'll work. Hopefully. <laughs> Trying new techniques is always a bit of fun. You know, what have I got to lose? really now they both use things like card but i do like my palette knife so let's use it i just want to fill out that little spot there let's put like just a dob of orange Not as bright as I would like it, but this might might improve up here. I'm just going to watch these pop up a bit. You can see that I've missed quite a bit. So I'm going to come in with a small palette knife. Just pick up some of this swipe mix. I definitely love this through here. I'm not sure about that bit there. And I'm just going to blow down on this bit with the hairdryer. these white bits through here.
too much here. Oh dear. How can I fix that? Don't think that's working. So that looks nice there. I don't like that, so that's probably going to be tilted off. But I'm not really sure what's going on here and whether I'm going to be able to get those colours to pop up. Oh, there we go. That might work. Because I'd like this red to pop through. Just give it a small spin. Gonna try and blow down on there again. Definitely coming out a bit more with the stretching. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of white to my edge corner. A little bit different through there. I would like to break it up though. Okay, spin it again. Lots of purple. Just gonna take a little bit of extra there, just to make sure get those corners covered, the edges covered. There we go. I think that's about right. So I've got a little bit of orange here. This is really different. So that didn't quite work, but it doesn't mean it's bad. I'm not great at bloom yet. 
so this has kind of turned into a bit of one. Mm, not sure. That's cute. That, oh, that sort of brings that little, the way it's small there, brings it in up here as well. Okay, here is the wet result. And we've got black lacing through here, so uh, not so stained glass, but we do have some beautiful lacing. And lots of colors. It's just this bit through here. Um, it does break it up, so it's not all the same. So that's something. And it's a little bit muddy through here and through here. So I um I don't know what I think of this. These colours look really nice. I don't I guess I don't like mixing all the colours together. I like this little bit that was added in later. Some tiny cells. Um I mean, we do have some very colourful cells just through here. And I tried to get these to come out. And I got a few little bits of red popping up through the turquoise there. So that's quite nice. But yeah. I might revisit this, but not with so many colours. Um, and I've got to make sure that I tip off enough of my swipe mix because I left too much here and that caused the problem I think yeah so I will bring you back when it's dry okay here is the dry result and it's dried quite nicely um, let's see if there's any shine on this a little bit uh, I think I put too much purple on but these colours here, the blend is actually quite nice. Through here. This area here is very unique. And we've got really fine little dots through there, which is quite interesting. Um, I like the black lacing up there just a little bit. And the lacing's all pretty good. And, you know, practicing with these lines through to break up the, the lacing and create some interesting shapes. Um, certainly giving me some ideas. Um, I'm not sure what I really think about this one. I'd love to know what you guys think. But um, it's it has given me ideas of some stuff that I could do. So definitely worth doing. Yeah, I think I'd do it differently if I did it again. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.